I got some cramps last night in my feet. We're going to talk about why I believe that happened and what I'm doing to correct it. Hello, everyone. Semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. Today, we're going to talk about the cramps I had in my feet last night and why I think I got those and what I'm doing to correct that problem. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Normally, I'm out walking, but with the cramps in my feet last night, I'm not doing much of that today. I'm doing some stretching and some other things, but normally I'm out walking every day. I couldn't stand for more than two to two and a half minutes before, and now I'm out walking every day and doing lots of other things. About right here is where I'm going to click over the video and let you watch me mow the front yard because I was mowing up leaves again yesterday. Well, not really mowing them up. I was grinding them up so they'd settle down into the grass and make fertilizer for next year. I'm going to insert that here. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here as well. It means an awful lot to me that you spend just a few moments of your day with me. But let's get on into this thing. As most of you know, in an effort to save money, I've been doing basically just ground beef and eggs. Um, what I have not said is that I've been alternating the days that I have ground beef. So one day I'll have like a pound of ground beef and six to eight eggs. And then the next day I'll just have a dozen eggs, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, depending on how hungry I am. Where I think I've gotten into a little bit of trouble is normally when I'm making burgers, I salt them before, and then when they come out and they're on the cutting board, I have a coarser salt that I sprinkle over top of them. Well, with my eggs, I just have, you know, I spread some salt into the pan with them as I'm scrambling them up. And that tastes salty enough to me, but as I realized, it's about the same amount of salt that I usually put on my burgers, but not the extra salt from the table in the, the, the coarser salt. Um, I think that's where I got into problems, that my salt intake had decreased. And over the course of times, as you can see here, as I'm walking around cutting the grass, pushing the leaves to the middle of that hill that I go up the side, I put a lot of pressure on my feet to push that mower up the hill. And I think it was that extra exertion that caused the problem. So we need to be careful. There are, if you go to the YouTube search bar and just type in Dr. Barry Salt or Dr. Fung Salt or any of the others, you'll find out about salt and how it's not the cause of any problems, but salt is essential. Um, so what I did this morning is I had just a pinch of salt and a full serving of my Keto Chow Daily Minerals. Now, normally I just do about a half a serving of Daily Minerals in my morning hot drink, which is sometimes just hot water, sometimes it's coffee. It just depends on how I feel that day. Um, so I upped it to a full serving this morning, and my feet do feel better. I am going to try and get out for a walk here in a little bit this afternoon as it warms up, but I uh, we'll see how it goes. I, you know, I said I I was up almost every hour on the hour last night because my feet kept cramping on me, and that uh, that needed to be addressed today. And I think that having a pinch of salt for breakfast, as well as a full serving of Keto Chow Daily Minerals is going to help correct that. And I'll have a little pinch of salt two or three times throughout the day today because I had hamburger patties yesterday. I don't think that it was just 
a one day salt deficiency. I think I've slowly been dropping the amount of salt and electrolytes in my system by not eating as much on my eggs as I do when I have beef. So it's just something to watch out for. Um, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, that I had a problem. And I will let you know if it's completely fixed during the live stream tomorrow, how it went, how it goes tonight. Hopefully I sleep better and my feet don't cramp every hour. But uh, I don't think the mowing video is quite done yet. So this is where I'll probably cue a little music, let the mowing video play, and I'll talk to you at the end. I hope you enjoyed that quick little video today. Remember, salt is essential. We have to have it in our diet. And not getting enough. I know we've been told since we were kids, don't eat too much salt. It's bad for you. Well, if you go watch the Dr. Barry videos on salt, you'll realize that it's really not that bad for you. In fact, it's not bad for you at all. Salt is essential. Every cell in our body needs salt to function properly. But that's what I've got for you today. See you in tomorrow's live stream. Have a great day, everyone. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. I'll see you in the next one.